Already this morning I have cleaned out chicken coops and made some compost and done a live show Saturday morning. But now we're out with the horses and we're going to have a little fun. Luke's riding Teo and we're getting Maggie ready. You know, this is just the fun stuff. Look at you, Luke. Riding Teo, looking good. We're gonna get Luke a new helmet pretty soon so he doesn't have to wear purple helmets. Do you like riding Teo, Luke? Do you like riding Teo? Yeah? He's pretty tall. You're way up there. Come on, show me how you do it. Good. Mama's on, on poop duty. She's using the new rake. Go, go one more time. Go around the pile one more time. You're doing a good job using that rain, using those rains, Luke. Not at all. I say to go around. Tell him. Good job. You look like a real cowboy, Luke. Huh? Yeah. Look at you, Teo. You look good. Is Teo behaving, Luke? You can see we have the ladder out here because we have to paint or stain still a little bit more on the barn. And then I still need to put the metal up here and put gates and doors on. I've been saying that for months. That's where we're at. You got to use your voice, Luke. You got to say, whoa. That way he knows what you're doing. Are you about ready to get on? Huh? Oh, Luke's going to ride Maggie? Oh. You're going to switch horses, Luke? Now we're swapping horses. Got to Got to do a little loop-de-loop -loop to bring Maggie a little closer to the mounting block. Mom, I know they say on. Ten minutes. There we go. Why not yet, Mom? Ten minutes. You got it. Luke likes to ride, but a lot of times he likes to cut it short, too. He's asking when he can get off. Get your leg over a little more. Very even. Okay. There you go. I'm just gonna lead her. You wanna put your arms out and balance? Put your arms out, bud. You do can it. do it. I'm just gonna walk for now, okay? okay. Both arms. This is some of the therapy. Do it. You gotta keep it. <laughs> there we go. Do it. Put your arms out, bud. Put both of them out. While the horse is being led and Luke doesn't have to control her, he puts his arms out. That Increases his core strength. Three. Put out. Four. Good job. Five. Okay, now. There Good go. job. Our daughter is uh, doing a lot of sidewalking for a therapy company, a therapy uh, equestrian place, and so she's learning some of these techniques on how to how to talk to the the uh, people that are riding the horses. Reaching back and petting Maggie's haunches while riding, twisting his core. Maggie's pretty energetic, so it takes someone like Adeline to know how to keep Maggie under control. A super sweet horse, 
but she likes to rev up. You can see my beehives back here. It's not a very good day to see them flying because the uh, it's still kind of cool. Yeah, well, so dead. Now watch with Dad. Dad's got the camera, bud. I'm gonna walk with you. You're walking with your sister. Just being on a horse is therapeutic. It encourages great posture and a lot of core strength when you're shifting side to side. You're constantly using a lot of muscles that uh, you may not be aware of. Way back when Luke was smaller, I don't know when he started, maybe eight or nine years old, he did not sit well on a horse, but it didn't take long doing the horse therapy to learn how to uh, build that core strength. You want to do over there? Harry likes playing out here too. Good work. You're doing great. She's walking. Yep. I'm trying to slow her down. We may not be doing everything perfectly right, but it is very nice to be able to have access to these horses, very gentle creatures for Luke, uh, for our daughter to learn a lot as she uh, continues to work with horses and build her knowledge about how to uh, not only ride, but to take care of horses and do the sidewalking for therapy. But uh, also Luke being able to get on and, and several times a week to use his body, his muscles, and to interact in uh, in nature because it's wonderful being out here so it's it's just a really cool experience having uh, the horses on the farm something I really didn't think I'd get that into and I'm not really a horse person yet but I'm learning and I'm really enjoying what it's doing for the family as a little bonus feature I'm gonna show you me scooping poop with the new root assassin rake this is the rake that I'll be trying out. This is not the official test and review video, but we've been using this rake quite a bit. Put it through the ringer to see, see if we can break it, to see if it's any good. So let's just do what we would do out here with a normal rake. I love it. This rake? Yeah, the it tongs is. are so much stronger. Yeah, it is way better than the normal cheap rake that we get at the feed store. And it doesn't feel like it's going to break if it gets caught on a, a weed. Yeah, the uh, tines easily break when you get caught up in these grass roots and stuff. But this one seems to not get stuck as easy. Mm -hmm. You don't, you don't feel like you're going to break it off. If you're too rough. If you're too rough, right. I'm sure it is breakable. But so far we haven't reached that limit. The horses will provide lots of material for us to keep practicing. Lots and lots of material. I do hope that you enjoyed this moment with the family, sharing with uh, Luke riding the horses and just seeing a little bit of our real life and also seeing this tool. This was given to me and I'm testing it out. Someday when I do the official review video, somebody in the continental US will have a chance to win a rake just like this, but that's not this video. It truly is wonderful to share this time with you. I thank you so much for being here and sharing this experience and leaving your comments below to encourage everyone who gets to watch, everybody who's reading the comments and me as well. Thank you again. I'll talk to you soon. I should get about 10 of these rakes and invite a bunch of people over to see how well they work.